Hey, the boys, all right? Yeah, we're good, we're good. How are you? I'm good, are you? Good to see you. Um, see, this is what it's about, babies. Yeah. If you haven't got any, get on the job and get some made. Uh, she's beautiful. Look at this. Look at them eyes. Oh, 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 daddy, daddy. Can I see you want? Yeah. Five and seven. Five to seven. It's gonna he might go as soon as I hit him and walk, as soon as he walks onto a big and he's gone anyway, but he, he won't have anything last anything left past five, six, seven, he's out of there. Yeah, we're off to uh, Old Trafford, Manchester United. Um, the place where dreams become true. City of Promise, Manchester. I've uh, supported United since I've been a child. And I probably will still continue to support them until I'm an old age pensioner. And we're here. Are you doing you okay? Tyson. Yeah. boys. All the best for you, fine. Yeah. Cheers, pal, thank you. Take care, mate. See you, mate. It's an amazing feeling to think that Potentially, I could uh, be one or two fights away from actually fighting here at this, this stadium. We're filling it out with uh, United fans and Tyson Fury fans. So it's, a, it's kind of a crazy uh, thought, really. There's only a few fights that would actually sell this out, though. One of them being me versus Klitschko, me versus Deontay Wilder, or me versus David Hay. It bring a lot of interest to the town, to the city. Like I said before to the, to the other fellow, it was... Um, a lifelong dream really to uh, to fight here it's not to go to las vegas or los angeles or new york or anything like that i've always said it it's here don't need to leave my own city to fulfill my dream and it's uh right i'm right around the corner now i've got my foot in the door just need to get my head around as well now maybe he is a united fan maybe he ain't but he ain't a homegrown so i'm not interested he's a foreigner as far as i'm concerned and he's getting a good hiding i'll show you what a, a true manchester lad can do to some londoner give him a good beating. You know, he does crazy things, but only to be noticed. It's not really him. Him as an individual person, it's just a, just a bit of a div, really. He's not, a, he's not a clever type of a person. He's just, hello, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think I'll win. Just stupid, you know what I mean? He hasn't got a, he can't talk, he hasn't got a brain. Just a dumb boxer, simple. No wonder he's a boxer, because he couldn't have done anything else. Okay, what we normally do, just to warm up before the uh, start of the gym session, we do a nice steady run, yeah? So, where you go, boys? Where you go? Okay, now the warm. Um, they're going to go to the, um, to the sports ground, football ground, and uh, there's a special soft... Um, it's like a new uh, astroturf. It's like soft grass. But it's hard on the feet, so don't, that's what they sprint on. So we're going to do some uh, sprints and um, do some heavy, uh, heavy, lift, heavy lifting work. And do some pulling of a few. There's a tractor here, so to get a harness on, pull it, flip some tyres over. You know. Basically, you've got to have this attitude, haven't you? You're training all day, every day, so when you get in there, get the job done, you're ready to rip somebody's head right off, aren't you? What you've gone through, do you understand? That's what it is. You know, you're living and breathing this job. And that's it. Eat, train, sleep to fight. There's nothing else. And then there's no chances taken. Everything's there to what it is. You've got to... There's no excuses getting in there. What I don't like is where people say, I should have done this, I should have done that. If you can't do it beforehand and you've got three months to get ready, there's no point being in there in the first place, is there? I was pretty sick, you know. There was only me and somebody else who was interested. Was there? If he wasn't there, it was coming at 2.25, my way. What are we going to see here today? <sighs> A little bit of all sorts, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he train here, then he comes here? We train here once, once, a uh, once a week, yeah. Yeah, just conditioning Every training. Tuesday. Normally we do uh, sprints, right. 
and just a few bits of different things, that's it. Yeah, vary it. <coughs> vary it up, yeah. yeah. Are you the kind of funny guy who might throw a spanner in the works? I'm not that person who might throw a spanner in the works, no. I'm the person who's going to go in there and behead him in the ring. I'm the man who's going to go in there and knock him into next week. I'm the man in there who, every time he, if people say my name, yeah. I'm that man. He ain't dealing with your average Joe, boxer. Yeah. Yeah. He's dealing with a man whose life's at the line. It ain't a game to me. It ain't someone to pay the bills. Yeah. When I'm in a ring, I'm taking yours or you're taking mine. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. And he knows that. He sees fire in my eyes. And that's why David A didn't fight. Sure. And that's why there's a risk of Derek Chisora pulling out. Because when it comes down to it, there ain't many men who actually want to step in there and, and take a beating. No. Who want to think they can win as well. People come who know they're going to lose, like Joe Lebel. One, just one of the many hard sessions we do daily, so it's, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to that week of the fight so we can kind of die it down and I can get a little bit of a break. You know, he's a definitely well-liked, uh, well, mostly in, in, in the boxing game. He's got a lot of fans, a lot of followers. I think it's going to go well with him. He, he has the kind of personality, you know what I mean, and, and the kind of confidence. For him to be 25 years old, he seems like he's my age. You know what I'm saying? I have real conversations with him, you know what I mean? He's a good guy, a good, good young guy. But uh, he's far from a kid, you know what I mean? He understands what life is about, he's done some things, you know what I mean? When we chill in Monaco, we drive this, back we've got a nice apartment back there. Um, just chilling, this is how we roll. Go down to the front, speak to a few French girls. Bonjour, mademoiselle. The only one in Bolton. Well, I'd say so. This is one of the. This is only one of ten cars in the world. This is the limited edition, AIS edition. Um, even if you go to Dubai or whatever, you probably won't see these cars. This car to buy new is like 350 grand. Mad. I'll always be what I am. A big giant Manchester gypsy. Whether I earn 50 million or whatever. You know, I am what I am. A leopard can never change its spots. And I can, I can, I can never do that. Whatever, whatever, whatever you do, whatever you've not got or done, you're still the same person. And there is people who get a few quid and they try and change and become yuppies or whatever they want to be. Like, try and hire their levels and class and all that. And at the end of the day, they're just hypocrites, really. What that table flip about? The table flip was just like... It was annoying and it was annoying me, so... I just done what a man had to do. And that was flip a table on that day and storm the building. I went to the pub yeah. for a couple of calm down drinks. The only way you can beat Tyson Fury is knock me out. And people, anyone can be knocked out, get hit right, you're gone. So everybody's watching out there, I want to know a good insight on beating me. You ain't going to beat me on points. You're not going to out-hustle me. You're not going to out-balls me. You're not going to out-heart me. The only way you can beat me is by knocking me out, which is pretty simple. You've just got to bang me on the chin hard enough, and I'll be knocked out. Can't say fairer or easier than that, can you? Pretty simple. Just bang me on that chin hard, and I uh, should be knocked out. Same with all men. Not, we're not your robots. We're all human beings. The right pressure and the right points. Good night, Vienna. That's it. Mash it up. Come on. Now Eddie has to look at his body every time he finishes a session. <laughs> just, to re just to remind himself that the muscles are still there. Because he thinks he's sweating them off on the floor. So no. The body is still there. Another day. Another day at the office again. But you're sick of this now after a week, aren't you? Derek Chisora is a good fighter. 
He's a top five heavyweight in the world. By any, no shadow of a doubt, imagination, he's no worse than that. Because I don't know many heavyweights that can beat him. You know, in my opinion, he's up there with the best of them. I think there's only Vladimir um, who would have a, a good shot at beating him quite comfortably, like I can. You know, I ain't Vitaly, I'm Tyson, and I beat him once before, and I'll beat him again. My engine is second to none. I'm running on two Rolls Royce V12s. And I'd say I'm the fittest, most sought after heavyweight on the planet. There's not one man out there who can last longer than I can at any speed. Where everyone just seems to get worse as it goes on, I get stronger. You watch all my fights, I come on strong late. It takes me four or five rounds to get warmed up really. And then I'm, I'm a strong, strong finisher. So the longer a fight goes for me, the better. If they could bring back 15 rounds, for me, it'd be even better again. Because I'm a natural athlete who can go that, that pace with ease. You know, I can beat Chazor on the inside or the outside. I showed you that in the first fight, I beat him on the inside. A man six foot and a man six foot nine, I beat him on the inside. So he's not a natural inside fighter. And Derek Chazor is old fashioned Joe Frazier style, one, two step. It just ain't, ain't going to work today. Joe Frazier today wouldn't last with these big heavyweights, he's too small. Just like Derek Chisora is too small, and every time he moves up into world level, high level, he gets beat. He's all right on the, like a under world class level. He can beat mediocre men with easy. You've seen that against his last five opponents. If they're not up there and they're not trying to fight back and win hard, then he beats them. But when he stepped up, me, Klitschko, hey, I thought he beat Hellenius, but he's short of proper world class fighter. So he's only really lost three times, uh, Chisora, and uh, one of them being myself. I can't look past Del Boy, although I do think he is a Del Boy, and he's not on my level. I'm taking Chisora like he's Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis in one. I'm not looking past him at all. I'm treating him like he's coming there to kill me, which he is.